Perfect. Perfect. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Yes, I'm looking hella raggedy. I got my hair like up because I was about to put my hair in a bun because I'm going somewhere tomorrow and I don't feel like wearing a wig and all that. So I'm about to put my hair in a bun and a lot of y'all be asking for a video about how to put your hair up in a bun. So <laughs> like the head, here you go. Okay. So I had already started. I just sprayed some of this strengthening tea rinse on my hair. Um, I don't really want to spray the ends too much, just like the scalp part and just a little bit of the hair shaft so that my hair is like pliable and it can move around okay and just molding it up you know what i'm saying just molding it up okay so i just take a regular brush and i am just brushing my hair up in an upward motion <laughs> I like to put my buns up after a twist out because then I can try to get some volume on my bun because my hair is very fine and not being I mean not thick at all so don't nobody be wanting no little old bun looking like a golf ball when I kind of get it up smooth like I want to pull it like towards my forehead because I want it to sit like on the top of my head not back here not up here like so so I just kind of hold it like like that this part don't have to be perfect yet because I'm about to put some gel on my hair and I'm using <laughs> wet line wet line extreme um the reason why I do my buns too the day before is because I be wanting it to dry like in place because normally when I wear my buns it's in for like a week <laughs> rubbing the gel in all over make sure I got some on the front and now I'm gonna be brushing again okay so I got this hair tight right here and I got one of these little scrunchies too so I'm gonna just try to make it as tight as I can I'm gonna go in with this one lemongrass one by Alake and I'm gonna use this um, black one by African Pride because we have to make some edges because we don't know where they are they're gone we can't find them and we just gonna make some okay I got this edge brush and basically I'm just about to use the edge control to like lay down flyaways and stuff like that like you know how our hair in the back ain't all the way up laying down so sometimes I'll just put the edge control on the back just to make sure it's super duper flat. take my hair and I'm gonna wrap it in front of this band here and then it's gonna kind of wrap around the back and then we can tuck it and start bobby pinning it I don't have a lot of hair my hair little puff is little but you know I mean it, it's doing what she supposed to do for the occasion I guess then I'm gonna take my got to be spray and I'm just going to spray my hair While I'm blow drying my around my hair, I'm gonna also like be like molding my little puff into a little cute little circle, okay? The reason why I like to do my 
my buns the day before is because this is still wet so i want it to dry and i want it to dry down and i want my like little circle to mold or whatever so i'm gonna just take this scarf right here and i'm gonna put it on like this and then i'm gonna kind of tie this part around the bun so this is like molding my bun for me you know what i'm saying so then i'm gonna take this blue scarf and i'm gonna put it around the base of my head like that and just tie it on like a regular scarf so it's securing the rest of my hair and my edges and all of that so i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow when i get all ready and we'll see what my bun is looking like Okay, you guys, so it's actually been a couple of days. I was supposed to go to brunch yesterday with my friend, but she had to cancel. Her grandbaby got sick, so she had to do what she had to do. I totally understand. So it's actually the next day and in the evening. It is, let's see, what time is it? It is 8.15 p.m. the next day after that. So, yeah, so, but this is what my hair is looking like. Um, I just had to redo my edges because, of course, I had to wash my face. <laughs> but other than that, the rest of my hair has still been intact for the past couple of days. Like, this part is not going anywhere. As long as you tie your hair up like I showed y'all, it's going to stay, and it's going to stay for days. Like, I could literally leave this up for about five to seven days if I wanted to. As long as I just tie it up at night, it's all good. You just have to redo your edges. But that's really how I put my bun up. I know y'all asked me how I do it and it's super simple to me and hopefully you learned some tricks or tips so that your bun can be, you know, up and stay and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, my hair is very fine and thin and of course y'all know I've been going through a lot of hair loss or whatever. So this is my bun and it's just a little bun, a little, little softball, a little bun. But if you got a lot of hair, your bun is going to be big and popping and round and, you know, everything that all of us girls want. And I would do it the same way if I was trying to put, like, a bun, a low bun in the back. I would do it the same exact way. Just put the bun in the back. So, so hopefully y'all like this video. If you like this makeup look, I'm on my way to dinner, so I did not record this, this makeup look. But if you guys do want to see this makeup look, let me know down in the comments and I can recreate this makeup look. Um, definitely like this video. If you liked it and share it, of course, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.